Row Owners allows you to make only certain rows available to certain users. Only the rows with the current user's email in the Row Owners column will have access to that row. Row Owners is similar to filtering a list by the signed in user, but it has some important differences. Firstly, if your app has information that's private to certain users, then you should absolutely use row owners as it's much more secure. If however, you have a data set where sometimes the users see all the data and sometimes see only their own data, and that's okay, then you can use filtering. But if your app has confidential data, then you must not rely on filtering as the filtered data can still be downloaded in the background. For row owners to work effectively, users must be required to sign into your app so that Glide can use the email address of the current user to determine which rows the user owns. To enable row owners, just click the drop down menu on a column in the data editor that contains individual emails and select Make Row Owner. In this app, we can see a full list of projects. We have a column with the email of each project organizer, and we can make this column a row owner column so that the person with that email will become an owner of that row. Now we can use the preview as feature in Glide to view this app as the different users will see it. As we preview with different emails, we can see that this list gets filtered to only show the rows with the current signed in user's email address. In other words, we're previewing this app as this user would see it and we can see that they only see the records or rows that they own. Row owners is also different to filtering in that it's much more absolute. With filtering, you can have two lists reading from the same table. And in one list, you could filter per user, and in the other list, you could show all users all items. But with row owners, however, you can't do this. By enabling a row owner, you give complete ownership and therefore complete privacy to the user that owns that row. No other users can have access to that row in your app. You can make multiple columns row owner columns, but if you need to do this for many different users in your project and just generally want more control over user permissions, then you should use roles. With roles, you can assign each user in the users table a specific role or group. You can then use these role values in different ways in your app, in visibility conditions, filtering data, action sequence conditions, but you can also use these roles to assign an entire group of users as row owners. For example, in this project management app, we've assigned roles to different project teams. We have people in marketing, engineering, and then in our projects table, each project has a team column. And if we set this team column as a row owner, each team will only have access to their own projects. As another example in this customer portal, we're using the business name as our role. So each user from the different businesses that access our app are grouped together. We then have an orders table with a business column, and this is set as the row owner. And this way, each user from each business only has access to orders that belong to their business.